Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to update on the DIY Kelk Reactor. So I've been running the DIY Kelk Reactor for a few weeks now and I figured I'd give you guys a bit of an update on its performance. Now overall the reactor has been working very well. I just cleaned it last night and when I was cleaning it I was noticing there was a little bit of wear on the bottom of here. If we look down at the bottom you can see a little bit of a wear mark starting to happen and that would be from this little pill spinning on there. Now what I'm going to do, um, ideally you'd want to use just glass but I can only find these mirrors but I'm going to put a little glass mirror in the bottom and I picked these up from Michael's craft store and the magnet spinning on the glass will not wear through it. So this is what I'm going to try in here and I think this is going to work just for kind of like the long term improvements. So we now got our little mirror in the bottom and it should be able to spin through that no problem. It does add a little bit of thickness but I don't think it'll be too bad. So. If worst case scenario, we might have to add a smidge less calc to it, but that really just depends on how strong that bond is between the acrylic and the glass. So let's fill this baby back up and get it on the tank. So with the chunk of glass in there, and there's about a half cup of calc, and I found about a half cup to be the sweet spot with this reactor size. Um, keep in mind, this is not the re actual reactor. This is the dosing container that I converted, but we got about half a cup in there. And check it out, no problem stirring it through there. Now if you add too much calc, it can struggle for the magnets, so you don't want to decouple, that is a bit of a risk that you would take there. So make sure you don't add too much, but yeah, if you're going with this DC2 chamber, definitely half a cup of calc seems to be a pretty sweet spot to go with. Now I can see no problem mixing it, and with that glass mirror on the bottom, that is going to prevent any wear in the acrylic, because the glass can handle the little plastic or Teflon pill spinning, not going to be an issue where the acrylic will slowly wear down over time. So what I had was very minimal wear, but just as preventative, I figured I wanna get this set up. So there you guys go, quick update on the DIY calc reactor. And this definitely makes a nice little boost on pH. And this was very inexpensive to build. This was like 25 bucks or something like this. This chamber was like 30 or 40 bucks. I mean, 70 bucks-ish, pretty cheap to build. So if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Quick little update on the progress. And yeah, so far definitely happy with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick update on the DIY calc reactor. I'm um, super happy with how it's performing just for how quick and inexpensive it actually was to build. Now if you guys enjoyed this hit that like button, can you subscribe? And if you built one yourself, let me know in the comments below because I'm super curious to kind of hear how it's working out for you. Alright guys, catch you on the next update.